All right, guys, second part of my box set videos. This is gonna be the last part. Um, I showed, I think, five in the last video. There's gonna be four in this one, so uh, let's get started. Let's not waste any time. The first thing I'm gonna talk about, not really gonna talk about. I don't know much about it. I know that the music is very good, um, and there's really not much to show with it. So uh, this is uh, Dead Raven Choir with Cask Strength Black Metal. Um, it's a 3 LP box set. I got it for really cheap because it has this little ding right here. Um, but the music is very, very good. Um, now, whoever decided that the stuff that comes in this should come in this, I don't know what the hell they were thinking, um, to be quite honest. Um, musically, this is very, very good. The box set itself, I do not really like. Um, it comes in three plain black, uh, it printed their sleeves, which that's fine. Uh, they're all in black vinyl. Um, this is very cool. Um, yeah, if you guys have never listened to Dead Raven Choir, I would definitely, definitely recommend to do, you do so, um, because it is very, very good stuff. Um, I have nothing against the band itself, it's just this box set is so, I don't know, it's just, I'm gonna show you why. Okay, there's like a hundred of these. I'm like, there's so many. And they do all have like a, I mean, that's, I think that's their logo right there. I mean, they're like super, like super illegible, uh, you know, printed things. And I just don't, I don't understand. I assume they're song titles and stuff, but I just, I, I don't know. There's just, they're cumbersome and yeah, I'm sorry. I don't mean to complain. Um, Dead Raven Choir is a great band. Uh, definitely check them out. Um, yeah, that's all. I, that's all I'm really going to talk about with this one. Um, fuck, I forgot to get the records off my shelf again. Okay. Damn it. Okay. Now. First one I'm actually going to show everything in and talk about is uh, something that came out. I guess it was early this year. Um, this is Death, Leprosy. Um, this is the deluxe box set from the reissues they did earlier this year. Because um, they had like a picture disc, a black vinyl, an orange vinyl or something like that, and then they had this box set. Um, so you see it's pretty, I mean I'm sure you've seen that I have this because it's been right here throughout every one of these videos. Um, that's the back. This is very, very good stuff. Um, show you what comes in here. First up, it comes with a turntable slip mat, um, which is very, very cool. Uh, it was on there for a little bit and then I replaced it with something I will show you in a minute. Um, comes with this right here, which is pretty cool. It's, uh, you know, it's like a record sleeve. This is like, this is includes like the, uh, the rehearsals, uh, yeah, just leprosy rehearsals, which I think is very cool. Um, now this comes on a, it's like pink with blue splatter. It's very cool. Um, like I said, this box set is limited to 500 copies. At least I think I said that already. Um, I'm not sure. I mean, I'm, well, I know you can't get this one anymore. Um, not through Relapse, anyway. You'll probably be able to find it through Discogs or eBay, but it it might cost you a pretty penny. Um, it comes with this weird thing. It's I guess it's sort of like a poster, but it's like a newspaper-looking poster. Very strange. Um, and it just talks about, you know, the album, and I guess it's sort of like news stories or something that somebody made up to go along with the album. It's really cool. Um, and then finally, it comes with uh, the vinyl itself. And that's the back. Um, and this comes with a uh, sort of like pit montage of pictures, um, you know, of the band members. Uh, and it folds out and it's a lyric sheet, which is very, very nice. Um, yeah, I absolutely love early death. Um, 
Now, on CD, I, oh, I do own uh, The Sound of Perseverance and Symbolic outside of the first. Well, I, I don't own Scream Bloody Gore on vinyl or on CD, unfortunately. Um, that is an amazing album, I just don't own it. Um, but I, I do want to make it, you know, I, I want to make it known that I, when it comes to death, I like Scream Bloody Gore, Leprosy, and Spiritual Healing. Um, after that, I just, I can't get into it. Um, I just, I don't know. I, um, I, yeah, I don't know. Uh, Sound of Perseverance was the first thing I ever heard of, um, or heard from death. Um, and yeah, again, this comes on that color vinyl. Um, um, Sound of Perseverance was the first thing I ever heard when it comes to death. And when I heard it, I really, really enjoyed it. But... Once I heard the earlier stuff, I just, I, you know, I stopped liking, uh, death after spiritual healing. Um, Leprosy is definitely my favorite death album by miles. Um, just, I mean, every song on this album is absolutely incredible. Uh, the title track, uh, Forgotten Past is a great song. Left to Die, Pull the Plug, uh, Open Casket, Choke on It. Every song is just absolutely amazing um, um yeah so i mean I, i'm not gonna say if you've never listened to death check it out because if you've never listened to death then you're not you're watching the wrong videos uh because i mean this is essential death metal um I, I, it's argued that scream bloody gore is the first death metal album ever um, and then the other people say that Seven Churches by Possessed was the first death metal album ever. And then I'm sure there's other people who say, no, no, this is the first. But Death is one of the first death metal bands. You could say that. So there's no reason, there's no excuses if you haven't listened to Death. Um, and if you have not listened to Death by some wild chance, start with Leprosy. This is their best album, in my opinion. Um, so just listen to that. I mean... I don't know why I'm talking like you guys haven't listened to death. I really, really hope you guys have all listened to death. Um, yeah, so there's the leprosy box set. And then, I do have this. Uh, this is the spiritual healing box set. And I'm really, really hoping they do scream bloody gore. Um, I don't know, they started with leprosy and then they did this, so... I don't know, but I'm really hoping they do scream bloody gore because I would love to own a scream bloody gore box set. Um, especially having the, you know, the second and third album, I would love to have the first. Um, so that's the back of this one. It's the side. They're very cool. I'm sure you've seen these sitting over here. You probably knew I had them, but... Um, so yeah, this opens the same way as the last one does. Um, it comes with this pin... ...that says, I found it. I mean, there's probably a reference there that I'm not getting, but... ...yeah, I found it. Um... Again, it comes with uh, one of these sort of uh, sleeves like this, except this has the, uh, I guess, the rough draft for what became the album cover, which I think is very, very cool. Um, and I absolutely love the color of these records. Um, yeah, they look like that. I do have another vinyl that looks pretty much identical to this. It's actually on my record player right now. That's not what we're listening to. We're listening to some King Dude. You should ch definitely check that out. It's very good. Um, but it, yeah, I have another vinyl that looks exactly like this in color. Um, but this album's a little bit better, uh, in my opinion. I will show you that album. I, I it, it, it'll be in one of my first update videos. So uh, definitely look forward to that. Um, show you what else this comes with here. It also comes with a uh, double-sided poster, which is very cool. This again is limited to 500 copies. Um, you. I don't want to say you'll be able to get this through relapse still. Um, last time I looked, you could, but I don't. I don't remember how long ago that was. Worth a uh, worth checking out. Um, yeah, so that's one side of the poster, and then the other side is the uh, rough draft of the artwork, which I think is very cool. Um, but yeah, this is another. This is absolutely essential. Um, just there's honestly, guys, if you also. I haven't really noticed this before, but there is the... Let's see if I can get it to show up. 
Damn it! It's the death logo. See, you can see kind of in the where the light is. Yeah, uh, sorry. Um, I just noticed that. I hadn't noticed it before. Um, yeah. So this is very, very good stuff. Absolutely essential death metal. Um, Living Monstrosity is my favorite song on the album. Um, Altering the Future is a really good song. Within the Mind, Spiritual Healing, Low Life, Genetic Reconstruction, Killing Spree. Guys, every song is amazing. Definitely check this out if you have not heard Death. And I'm talking like you guys haven't for some reason. I just, I genuinely hope that every one of you have listened to Death. Also, this comes with a turntable slip mat, just like I showed you in the last one. But it's on my record player, so I'm not going to get it off. It's just the album artwork, um, which you guys should be very familiar with. And last but not least, this does come with uh, the record itself, um, which I do keep on my shelf just uh, for easier access, you know, pulling it out. So I don't have to pull the whole box out and open it, and, you know. Um, so yeah, Death, Spiritual Healing. I love this album cover. Not quite as good as Leprosy, uh, the album cover, nor musically. I just, I prefer Leprosy. Um, that's the back. It's pretty much the same as the uh, back of the actual uh, box itself. And the other record, by the way, is Rehearsals and... Um, joke and jam tracks so yeah and actually one of the songs on there is a uh, satanic jam which is pretty much just death uh, death trying to be just a run-of-the-mill satanic death metal band uh, for one song and I think it, it works very well it's pretty cool um, but yeah again like the last one this comes with a you know montage of pictures and whatnot it opens like this and there's lyrics and uh, band members and notes about the album and good stuff like that and again since I do like the color of this record so much um, yeah very very good stuff um, please go listen to this if you haven't honestly I mean I if you have not listened to death I want you to stop this video I don't even want you to watch the rest of this video I want you to go right now and listen to the song pulling uh, uh, pull the plug um, Yeah, I just, yeah, I, I just, I really don't want you to watch the rest of this video if you have not heard Death, though I'm positive you have, so, sorry, I'm kind of repeating myself because this is very important that you guys listen to this if you have not. Um, yeah, so there's the first three. I have one more that I'm going to show you, um, and that's all the box sets that I own that I haven't actually showed. Um, you know, in previous videos in one way or another. But uh, last one I'm going to show you is this. Uh, this is Watain with the Wild Hunt. Um, this, is ab this is an absolutely amazing album from last year. This actually has one thing in it that I didn't grab before I started this video, so give me one second here. Sorry about that, folks. I do not come prepared. Okay, so, like I was saying, Wotain, The Wild Hunt. This is a huge box set. Um, so big the logo is not sideways. It is actually like that. Um, and that's the top has the logo again, which is very cool. Um, so let me show you all the stuff that comes in this. And again, I forgot something that this comes with. Fuck. Okay. First up, it comes with the uh, vinyl itself. I will show you the last thing that it comes with that I forgot to grab. Um, which I had shown in one of my later uh, collection videos. Not this version. I do have two versions of this, a black vinyl, and this comes on a uh, very nice gold vinyl. This is limited to 1,000 copies. Um, identical to the last one that I showed you, and a gate fold, and it folds over, and there's lyrics. So that's very cool. Um, then it comes with this. It comes in like this weird thing. I'll take it out. So. Yeah, it's a seven inch uh, vinyl. Um, and it's pretty much one song, uh, When Stars No More Shine. It's a song that was recorded in 1998 by Watain, and then they re-recorded it uh, last year, and they give you both versions on this. So uh, that's very cool. Um, this is a, damn it again on gold vinyl um, yeah this this box set is surprisingly uh, was surprisingly cheap for everything you get in it uh, I think it was only like 50 bucks and 
I mean, you get a lot of stuff with it, so there's uh, no excuses. And this is still um, pretty easy to get. Um, yeah, definitely uh, still easy to get. Um, you can, I think I got this through, I think I got this through Hell's Headbangers. You might still be able to get it through Century Media. I'm not totally sure. Um, this also comes with a massive poster. Oh my god. And of course it's upside down. So, yeah, huge poster. Which is absolutely great. Um, postcards of each band member, which I think is very cool. Let's go in here. Um, a little pin, which again is very, very nice. Um, and finally, this is the thing that I forgot to grab before this video started. Sorry about that. It also comes with this. Um, it's a CD copy, except it's like a super awesome, uh, sort of like slides out. And got the album artwork there. Little picture on the back. Um, CD right there. And it's pretty much a little book of, uh, you know, lyrics and stuff like that. So it's very, very cool. Um, yeah. Um, like I said before, uh, They Wrote On is definitely the best song on the album. Um, definitely check that out if you have not before. Um, yeah, this is a really, really great album. Um, but those are all my box sets, guys. Um, all the ones that, you know, you've seen them all at this point. Um, so, I mean, at this point I've shown all my 12-inch records, all my 7-inch records, all my box sets. Oh, shit, I forgot to show. This is one of the first thing I had to go grab. Uh, this also comes with a, uh, I guess it's like an altar cloth. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, that's very, very cool. Yeah, I think that's a very nice touch. Um, but like I said, uh, you know, I've shown all my 12 inch records. I've shown all my seven inch records. I've shown all my box sets at this point. Um, I mean, I, I guess CDs are next. I mean, I'm just showing you guys stuff at this point, just, you know, for the sake of it. And after that, after CDs, um, I guess I'll throw in tapes at the end of the CDs because I only have six. Um, I do have a couple coming uh, in the mail eventually. But, uh, yeah. And then I'll, do, I'll start doing updates, um, which I'm sure you guys, you know, all are excited to see, and I'm very excited to show them. Uh, the records that I've gotten since I started doing these videos. Um, so it's very cool, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, I'm going to do CDs next, I guess, because what else am I going to show? Uh, but, um, yeah, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Um, subscribe if you like it. And until next time, stay tuned and take care.